You okay? Oh. Goes out, goes out. Oh. You okay? Oh. oh, my ankle's done. Did you get James? Oh. Oh. Look, I got two, I got two ankle balls now. <sighs> it's really frustrating. Now, I mean, what I'm most concerned about is the match against uh, most exhausting player. He's already booked, you know, airfare and, and everything. So, so we need to figure, we need to figure that out. Hey everybody, Ian here. So first of all, thank you so much for all of the, the words of support and encouragement below our, our previous video where you saw the injury happen. So that was, that was four days ago. Today is uh, Tuesday. I was playing that match on Friday and I, you'll, you'll see more. I, I'm about to go to an appointment right now to have my foot looked at, but long story short, a lot is up in the air right now and that's the toughest part for me. I don't know exactly what the status is of my foot. Thankfully, I've been able to start walking on it relatively pain-free the last day or two, uh, which, is, which has been great. The first day or two, I definitely just stayed off of it completely. But a week from today was supposed to be the match with Ben, aka uh, most exhausting player. So he and I have been texting back and forth. We're trying to figure out uh, whether or not that's gonna happen and I just don't know right now. I'm gonna give him an answer by the end of this week and possibly we'll push it, possibly not. The other thing is the tournament is uh, supposed to start 10 days from today. So the timing is, is really the most frustrating part. I've been working so hard to try to prepare myself and now I'm gonna lose about two weeks of training before the tournament if I'm able to play it at all. So just, just a lot of question marks right now, and I'm hoping that uh, the appointment I'm going to is going to at least shed a little bit of light about what happened, like what the injury is exactly, because I'm, I'm not very clear on it. So I'm going to get checked out and, and see how we're doing. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How have you been? Not too bad. You know, busy, living yeah. life, having fun. Good for you. But uh, let's get you back here. Come yeah, on. absolutely. This is what I did. I don't know how I'm walking right now because this this looks absolutely. I can show you a video of it too, but I can't. The ball is coming right in my face, and I think I thought my foot was lower than it was, and I went to push myself to the left, and my the edge of my foot just caught, and I just pushed right against it. Hmm. Well, the one thing with it. A, an injury like this, you probably did create an avulsion injury or an avulsion tear. That's yeah. where part of the ligament pulls out the bone. Okay. And uh, that's why you're able to walk on it because that pulled out. That's your best scenario because that yeah. will heal. If you rupture the ligament, that's when you're completely screwed and you would not be able to move right now. I'm Dr. Rich Protasevich, but my patients call me Dr. Rich. Uh, Ian had a, an internal sprain strain injury of the right foot which uh, caused his talus to relocate itself anterior and lateral. With this, we believe that he has a small avulsion injury, which would be the ligament on the outside of the foot, uh, pulled out a small piece of bone along with it. So with this, what we'll do is we'll take care of the ankle here. And what we're looking at doing and accomplishing is allowing the body to remove the swelling and inflammation through here. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do first is, um, we're going to adjust it and then we're going to use laser and then we're going to tape it. Okay. Do I want to minimize uh, movement right now? Like I've been sta I work at a standing desk. I've been standing on it, I've been walking on it. Or is uh, it better to move it? Uh, okay. Normal movement's okay. No exercise. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to stress it any more than it needs to be. When I tape you, it will decrease some of the movement. Yeah. And that's pretty much what you're looking to do is just decrease some of it. You want the body to heal under normal uh, stresses. We're going to start really basic here with the table. Have a seat here and then swing the afflicted foot up this way. All the way across so it hangs off the side. And you shouldn't feel too much of this anyways. I'm going to assist the table in its drop. Yeah. 
So maybe the ball in the face would have been a better thing than this ankle. That, I mean, <laughs> my face can't get a whole lot worse. Yeah, the ankle, I, I need, <laughs> definitely need the ankle out. Now I'll just put the foot backwards over the table. So the laser is nice because it does decrease inflammation, gets the lymphatics working, promotes the soft tissue repair. What's your uh, recommendation timeline wise as far as testing it again? Uh, it, it all depends on when the inflammation goes down okay. and we can really assess the true mobility of the ankle. Right now you're in such a splinting mode where there's so much inflammation, it's hard to say. Typically, ankles are about a four to six week process. Okay. It's hard to say right now because today's the first day, so whatever I would say would be a complete guess. Um, because he doesn't have any pain and there is, there's not a big lack of uh, motion loss, uh, we would believe that he would have full recovery. But again, it's a little premature to actually say that. Now, do you, have you done it in the past? Have you done this before? No, this is the first time I've ever rolled an ankle on a tennis court. Yeah, in hindsight, why didn't I just let the ball hit me in the face? <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll off. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have you stand right up here. Okay. You're still doing your daily workouts? I've been doing yoga every morning for about six months now, and it's helped me a lot. Uh, at home workouts, I'm maybe doing once a week or maybe twice a week. And, but then I've been doing on-court training with a, a high-performance coach for about two months now to kind of build up to play in a tournament and mm -hmm. listen in two weeks. <laughs> oh. oh, that's why you want to know if you can play. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Big thank you to, to Dr. Rich. He's been a, a friend of my family for quite a while. He's been tremendously helpful to us. So um, just really grateful to have the support and the guidance of somebody as knowledgeable as him. Honestly, I'm a little in shock that it's not looking at the replaying the video and looking at that picture, like the frame, especially in my foot. I just don't know how. I, I feel really lucky. I think my yoga routine, honestly, has a lot to do with. I, I wear barefoot shoes. I do yoga routines. So, like my foot, my ankle stability and strength is much better than it used to be years ago. And uh, that's all I can think of to. Like the only reason I can come up with why I didn't completely blow out my my ankle and or dislocate something or or something like that. That being said, obviously I'm not like out of the woods yet, but it as of it could be much much worse like in right now you know at this moment. But only time is going to tell what kind of timeline I'm on. There's just no telling yet. In the meantime, in the meantime, I have a training session with Eric tomorrow. Um, I told him I can't run, so I, like, I'm not going to run, I'm not going to do anything dynamic. And so I'm kind of curious to see what Eric uh, comes up with, to be honest. I texted him and just said, you know, I hurt myself, I can't run, but I'd still like to do a training session. So I don't know what he's going to do. I know like what I would do, like just with the ball machine, but I'm curious what he's going to do. What's most frustrating to me, I guess, right now is... As you've been following along, you've seen the theme of like my conditioning and my my uh, capacity in terms of like energy and intensity, and that's just on hold right now. And that's that's the most frustrating part for me. Uh, so many of you have left comments saying that that clearly needs to get better, and I 100% agree. And so I'm I'm frustrated that I have to stop that part of my training uh, right now, but. I can still hit balls and I can still use the left uh, side of my body. So, so we'll do the best I can tomorrow on the court. Green shirt uh, guy, Ben, uh, most exhausting player. Most ex we, need to, we need to just start calling him Ben. I, feel, I want to call him Ben, but I also want people to know who I'm talking about. That is totally up in the air right now. The tournament's totally up in the air right now. We just have to see how things go from, from here. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you for all your encouragement already. I appreciate it. I'm going to do whatever I can, whatever's possible to get this recovered and get back to normal capacity as fast as possible. Thank you.